two, one, begin! Cybran speeding away from the start. Zero, Dimitri and Tima are all splitting off to one side. Uh -oh. Big Rick and Six heading <laughs> towards the zone. Alright. Got the ships up on screen here with the paper doll. Meanwhile, on the other side, we have Tate fort crawling. No, not fort crawling. He's just dropped out of fort. Slowly moving forward. Uh, look to be uh, looking to make use of cover on the way in. Approach with a sort of a slow. Well, honestly, they're approaching in column formation. It's an interesting choice. But Max pulling a certain burn. One way of flying is to uh, make sure all of your teammates have somebody to follow, and then use the team captain, just choose where to go. Then you can't get out of position. It uh, looks like the uh, activation for the zone is working properly, Muzzled. Excellent, excellent. So that, uh, that little uh, oops last time, I think I did actually fix and update that, but for whatever reason, Combat 1 did not get the update for it, even though it was restarted shortly beforehand. So it might have been Steam just doing its thing. That's fine. <laughs> yep. Gotta love Steam. So we got Cybran split into two sections, uh, 60 and Big Rig, slowly moving towards his own, making use of the central block of plate, and the other three members making use of the right-hand block of plate from that perspective. Very tactical match. The yep. team's looking to make good use of cover. These are always fun because it's nothing forever, and then all at once a team just gets scraped off the board. <laughs> Got that build up, and then you get the climax of the fight, and it's mm, beautiful. Looking at ambush maneuvers and early skirmish, followed by ambush. So last time we saw two teams line up behind these blocker plates, it turned into trench warfare where we had uh, skirmishers running around behind the teams until they started really mixing it up. Yep. Missile exchange, but it's the missiles just hitting the blocker plates. Classic. They're doing its job. Oh, there's the uh, visual bug that uh, we see with the paper doll. Climb is working on it, so we're just going to shut that off for now. And frame rate goes back up, which is also going to be fixed by Climb in a while. But I love me my cool features. I have to show them off. God bless Climb for all of his hard work. Yeah, excellent stuff. Indeed. So much over the years of the Space Engineers modding community. Follow these misses then. Wait, from, uh, from Tate. Zero just hanging out there, baiting him to shoot at him. Oh, those Grim slip on through. Did they actually do anything? Ooh. He's on 97% integrity. I'm going to take a look at his nose here. Look at me. Look at, look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain. Uh, oh, that might have done something. Yep, yeah, that, that connected. Ooh. He wasn't watching those arrows. Yeah. Most of them hit the blocker plate, but some snuck through. Yeah, straight through that shunt. You know, I do actually like the uh, the lighting, even though it is bug as anomaly shields go down here. Normally, uh, shifting his position to uh, more cover. Less shooting angle, try and get his shields back up. Looks like Big Rig has taken his favorite spot in the whole wide world. Dead front and center. Yep. Cap's about to go up. That's what his job is. Oh, yeah. Big Rig will hold the zone as soon as the cap starts. 14 seconds till then, as the team readies themselves.
Sovereign of Occupied. That is, uh, that is gonna force, uh, OKD to, uh, make a move. But I think all of OKD's ships are pretty tanky, if I'm honest. That might be the concerning part. If they are too far to position before they make their move, they might just get caught out. Yeah. Zero coming round for a little flank, getting driven off. Good in that hot pink, buddy. Yeah. Nice and bright. Look at those Asterius. Just hailing on Ooh, in. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty. Mm -hmm. And then they go for the cooldown. I do find it a little uh, ironic or funny, even, that uh, I spend so much time harping on spam weapons that do little chip damage and there I am putting in weapons that do exactly that. <laughs> ah, at least they're green. It ain't easy being green. It ain't easy being green. Nope. Tate losing parts here. His shields are down. He is out of position and so is Zero. He's gonna take those Grims. His shields are gonna hold for the time being, but how much longer? Here's some more so Grims. Get on by. One lands. Chunks from Blueberry Fire. Now, now, that's the M1A2 coil gun battery. If we misname it, nobody will know what it is. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Kidding, of course. They'll always be blueberries to me. Me too. Yeah, we need the the red spam weapons back so we can just get that cherries and berries spam. Berries fail, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need, uh, we need, we need spam weapons in all of the colors. It <laughs> just, you get to pick your color. Now, nobody knows what's going on, least of all me. Which isn't a change of anything. I would, I would like to be able to pick our colors for weapons. Yeah. I, oh. That would be awesome. Speaking of being able to pick, I believe Bigger could pick to be anywhere else right now as he starts taking damage. Shields are down, it's gonna start wearing right through as a Sharon starts blasting. Anomaly got into range. This is not where he wants to be. Big Rig is just Ooh. fine with this. It's his job. If they're shooting at him, they're not shooting at his teammates. Well, if you say so, but I'm starting to see a large chasm open up straight through Big Rig. I believe Anomaly is targeting something in particular. It might be power. Keep an eye on that top right there. If I'm right about Big Rig's design, like, he's probably got very few large reactors and quite a lot of, like, batteries and small reactors distributed throughout his hull. Whoa! Oh. Tate firing the afterburner to get himself out of dodge. Parts flying off in every direction. He can't really control himself or where he's going anymore. Yeah, he's almost dead stick. Yeah, he is dead stick. There it is. Yeah. Well, he technically has 12 mega newtons of thrust left, but... I doubt he has any gyros by the looks of it. Any functional gyros, anyway. He's Does no he factor. Still have an arrow. And some MRMs. He's not out of the fight, but he's certainly hurt. Yeah. Anomaly changing targets mid mid firing to um, a friendly? What? <laughs> he swept the gun as it was firing. Oh, it looks like Tumor is getting brave. I think this is a big mistake here from uh, RKD, just pummeling into Big Rig. Huge mistake. Well, Tate's gone red. Yep. Looks like Dimitri is the one to finish him off. If I had to guess. Here's the piece of. In fact, it looks to me that uh, RKD haven't got the uh, focus fire on their weapons. Which we all know can be a little problematic, but uh, it needs to be on your taskbar to switch on and off. The stop correct target allocation. Anomaly hmm. a point blank range, but angling is shipping this. Zero is being a sneaky little bugger. Having oh. taken. Having flanked around behind, he's now taken a cover position, sniping position. From the enemy's blocker, play. He 
He's just letting his weapons burn through the shield as uh, his shields recharge. He's going to come back in the, the final hour when things are starting to look desperate for Cyber, and I bet that's his plan, but right now it only looks desperate for RKD. Yeah, yeah. Cyber and have, have barely lost anything at this point. The only thing that they have lost is armor on Big Rig, and that's what it's there for. 60 appears to have taken a little bit of fire at the very least. Normally going for a ram on Big Rig. I'm just pressing that Sharon up in there as somebody is welding the Sharon, just keeping it alive. Oh no! He's been <laughs> blasted off like an R2D2 oh, no. droid. The Astromech has been destroyed. <laughs> there it goes. There goes the Sharon. Oh. God knows oh, where that welder went. Still flying off the ship. Yep. No problem. Massive hydrogen tank explosion. Ooh. That's okay, that's what it's there for. Probably not. So still being good to react. So, uh, you can tell the difference because hydrogen tanks going up have like four smaller explosions while a react is like one big, big one. Uh. That's a reactor. <laughs> ah. Head on big rig. Or the other way around. <laughs> I can't remember. It's one of them. Yeah, it certainly is one of them. I really did mean to change the tinting, or at least try to make them look any different, but I was in the middle of moving and just couldn't make the time. Tumor yeah, I think you've is been, not you've where he wants to be. Yeah. yeah. Well, I did my best, and I'm glad I got the cap timer synced before anything else. That was a huge point yeah, of contention yeah. for teams. Tumor and the Cougar, uh, basically intact. Handling uh, back flying cap very nicely. Just just backing off, keeping him at range. If his shields go down, that's going to be it for Tumor, but Max can just tank it from zero and Tumor for a while. Switch over to here and grab a paper doll off of Max just to see what's going on on the inside. Cougar being not, not quite a sniper ship, but a... Uh, it has its preferred engagement range, which is just outside of what most people's engagement range is. You know, it prefers the, the six to seven kilometer engagement range over most uh, close range brawlers being four and or less. So if he can keep the enemy at those ranges, you know, his guns are doing good work and the enemy are mostly out of range with most of their guns. That's how the, that's how the Cougar fights. Yeah, extremely now, high skill ceiling. Position. To, uh, to come help uh, Tumor. That's what Tumor needs right now as a friend, because if he loses those shields, he's not going to be able to keep this damage up for very much longer. Over in the center, 60, Dimitri, and Big Rig all just hammering. Absolutely hammering on Nevermore. Got their alarms coming in. We got Thanatos coming in. Asterius coming in, lasers coming in. What's going out of Nevermore right now? Not a whole lot. Oh, that'd yeah, be a lot okay, less now. Okay, okay down to 10,000 battle points. Cybran, uh, 33,875. They have barely lost anything. Said so the only thing that the only thing that Cybran have lost is armor on their tank, and what is that for? Oh yeah, there you go. Another bit of explosion from a reactor or a hydrogen tank. Doesn't really matter at this point. Poof. Maybe I should add that into the tracker. Mm. Replace the integrity with a uh, number of hydrogen tanks. He's gone dead stick. We're over in the center here with five and a half minutes left in the clock. We might reach over time, but not by much. The wolves are rounding. Yeah, just the whole of Cybron now, wolf packing, never more. He's not long for this world. We have some welders, lonely, lonely welders, keeping the 500 mil that could alive. A 
Here comes Anomaly with the ram into Big Rig, who is shielded, and they're just gonna bonk right off each other. Big Rig just mag dumping into Anomaly. He wants him out of here. Big Rig's shields are still holding, taking it, doing block damage to Anomaly. Big Rig going with the Afterburner ram straight through. No, maybe not. He's pushing Anomaly back. Counter ram. Going on here. Oh, and there goes another hydrogen tank. Yeah. Or maybe a react. I think that was a hydro. Maybe we can color the reactors green or something. That was my plan, was to just tint one very violently in a direction. Just so we could tell. Regardless of what the story is. Despite absolutely huge amounts of fire. Just absurd damage going on here, being just soaked into that 500 mil. Oh, here comes Dimitri with the ramp straight through the side. Takes out the 500 mil. It's gone. He goes with the afterburner ramp. Is it going to plow right through? No, not quite. But he has gone red. Nevermore has gone red. Cybern and now occupied. And that's it for all of RKD. They are off the board. That is a team wipe at 3 minutes and 42 seconds. GG. Right. Woo. Oh, my brand. Very, very strong. Very strong, Cybern.